Right, hello. So I don't know if you remember, but when I did the strawberry wine, I siphoned off a bit to um, ferment on for a little bit longer, just to see um, what how you know what, how it affects the flavour. So this is the siphoned off bit. I feel like in the video it doesn't quite do it justice, quite how bright that is. But I mean, almost madly, it looks a bit like Lucas Aid. <laughs> Um, but um, it's, it's quite a crazy colour, but um, I've drunk, well, we've basically almost drunk the first batch, which shows what kind of weekend I've had, but um, it was really tasty. And so this, by the way, this is just an old pickle jar that I, I, I asked basically a guy in the fish and chip shop whether I could have their pickle jar and it's done and they said yes. So <laughs> that's what I'm using to ferment it on. Um, so yeah, as long as you've got something that you can, um, it's food grade and um, you can use that. Um, so uh, yeah, so this is the bit I fermented on. It smells nice. Mm, smells good. It smells strawberries. It's got a, it does smell fairly sweet, but it's not, it's not actually, I mean, it's sweet obviously than something like beer or, but it's not a sweet wine, I would say. I prefer slightly drier wines. I'd say there's sort of citrus, apricots almost. It's really, smells really good. And the beauty of making fizzy wine is that it's just the speed that you can drink it. I know that I'm all about drinking things at speed. I don't want to give the bad, wrong impression. But, um, you know, if you're making just your standard fruit wines um, or beer or um, you know if you're flavoring you know doing flavoring gins you know these those kind of things they just take ages before you can actually try them so for example your standard fruit wine usually you're having to you you do your first ferment and then the second ferment and then you then you leave it in the bottle for six months at least so you're talking kind of eight months at minimum from the beginning you beginning of making the wine all the way till the end there's a long time to wait to try your product if you ask me if you're as impatient as i am so i love making fizzy wine because you um it's it's really quick results so um, and and de it's delicious and i just think sometimes if you're making homemade alcohol having a little fizz really it can, it can hide hide multiple sins basically and it just makes it feel like a more party drink as well because you you know have something with a little fizz in it so i cannot recommend making fizzy wine enough and it's so simple you just follow me and i'll show you how to do it but this is so we're at the second ferment stage now so i've made this big batch this is a bit of it taken off and then i'm going to put a spoonful of sugar into um, the bottle, it has to be a um, old Prosecco bottle, champagne bottle, or anything with sparkling wine in it because the bottle needs to be strong enough. So um, it has to be that sort of bottle. And then you just put a spoonful of sugar in each one. If you want to be more accurate, you can get brewer's sugar, which come in tablets, so it'll be a really accurate sort of dose of sugar. but. I just use a spoonful of sugar. I'm not that bothered. <laughs> a bit. Well, I mean, it just, you know, it, it depends how particular you're being. Obviously, there is. Uh, what I would try and do is just write down what you have done, um, because then when you make a really good bottle, I tend to just write it on the label. So if I have put a little bit more extra sugar sugar in, then I'll put that on the label, and then. Um, and then you know for next time. So when you make a really good batch, you can think, right, I'm going to do that again. So you can write notes. That's a, probably the better way to do it. Um, so, and then just, I just pour it in. You can get a siphon. You do end up getting a bit slightly squirted with wine. Um, a siphon you can use as well. And... Now I think potentially, I don't know if this, 
we'll do two bottles but what i have done is i have i had a little bit of blackberry wine left so i think this will fill the bottle but if it doesn't i might just top it up with blackberry wine and make a bit of a mix because blackberries and strawberries would go well together as far as i'm concerned so i'll pop this in Oh, I think this is going pretty perfect. You have to leave a bit of room at the top. You don't uh, fill it up like I did almost then, but that's enough room. So I would have, I would leave just a bit off the top just to make sure there's enough room for some gas to build up. And um, you don't want exploding bottles. But you see, we've got a little bit left there. So I might just add that to the blackberry mix I've got. Thing is, I'm running a bit low on bottles. It's lucky we drank some this weekend because I've made some room. You have to um, ask all your friends to make you lots, to keep all their bottles so that you can um, stockpile. But it's a really great thing to do. So if you, if, if you have any questions, if you want me to answer anything, because obviously I've made a lot of fizzy wine so far. So I've made lots of the mistakes that you first make have any questions just comment below and I'll do my best to answer them okay thanks bye